us at the bar, please. Welcome to Tavern Tales, a curated 5e Dungeons & Dragons adventure set in the tales of the Yawning Portal campaign module by Wizards of the Coast. Previously on Tavern Tales, there are two pennies now? Didn't we just have two Floridas? And the group plan is to just kill both of them? In a zone of truth? Who is Kevin? A music battle? Oh, this is getting confusing. Come sit down and drink with the enemy, raise a glass and toast to the enemy, and I'm not gonna do this on my own. So come sit down and laugh with the enemy, raise your glass and sing to the enemy, and I'm not gonna do this on my own. So I won't end up being alone, cause I won't drink my drink alone. So what about you? One beer or two, I'll drink to you. So from what I remember... Alabama, you stab that one. I stab this one. No, don't stab me. I'm Penny. Don't call me this one. It has to be like a long time ago, like from a memory perspective, oh. out of short-term memory. We said for the last freaking time, we're having this music battle. I mean, I'm cool with it. I, I like entertainment. And she takes... And especially free entertainment. It's yeah. really cool. So we're going to take a coin. Okay, I'm going to flip it. What is this going to do? If they're both pennies and they're both currently bards, how are we still going to... What's that going to solve? Well, either way, the better bard gets to be with the party. That and that's a, what matters. That is a terrible <laughs> way to do this. That is not the real penny. Jerry, show me the results. Maury. <laughs> I want well, Jerry Springer. Both, but, yeah. Throw the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man, you should know this. I agree. I. Kate, stupid Penny, are you heads or tails? You're a stupid Penny. <laughs> you're the stupid Penny. No, you're st- <laughs> ah! freaking tails. I am really, ah! I am not <laughs> trusting that Penny over there. Pennies. The one that doesn't have the light. I'm not trusting that one because there are things coming out of her mouth that I've never in my million years thought I'd heard her say. Well, wait till you hear me sing. Nope. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it plugs his ears. Why don't we just ask them a question about their past? Wasn't that how we did the last thing, according to Florida Man? No, right? I think we just killed them. Yeah, I think we should just kill them. Both of them. I think that just solves this. Because you can just bring back to life the but right I mean, one. Sure can. I mean, we did And the doppelbang- doppelbanger. <laughs> doppelbanger. <laughs> the doppelganger would revert back, right? I may not hope so, but don't know until we try. Do you have the ability to raise two just in case it doesn't work i mean yeah i mean they're not both gonna be penny or are we yeah let's just (laughs) kill them what (laughs) i don't know i'm so confused (laughs) i hate you fine you go first i don't care just don't let them kill us so no instrument because normally i spend forever tuning it and i'm like how am i gonna do this now Okay, here it goes. Prepare to be blown away. My fingers are still in my ears. Cool. Everybody else would judge and then may the best bard win. That's going to be me. And then she starts. Please sing a song about the night. All night long, all night, all night, all night long, all night, all night. And that's all the lyrics that she knows. So she just keeps saying that. All night, all night long. Do you know anything you're supposed to be? <laughs> no, she just listens to that one record by Lionel Richie all over and it got a rip all and like long. a scratch on it. So it just, it just keeps going. That's just that part. Cool. So she does that for a good couple of minutes. She sings that for <laughs> 10 seconds at most, not even, like six seconds. Okay. And at the end of the cast of that, all night long, all night darkness stretches out across every inch and breadth of this room the likes of which you cannot see through the light upon the chest of kyle penny cannot be seen i knew it ah dang darn it knew it in the distance you hear everyone roll initiative (laughs) ditto shit up in here you're can i be me now you are you <laughs> okay you were you okay you were a great you okay i knew it 
How could you not tell? Because they both saved. <laughs> God damn it. That's why. Uh-huh. You're the only one who was a swing and a miss. <laughs> yeah. If you had cast yeah. Zone of Truth, fake Penny would have failed. Yep. I didn't have it prepared. You gotta have it be But prepared. also, real Penny would have failed too. So it would have been but, funny. Yeah. Well, but they both would have Because you rolled a, a nine on the die? Yeah. Okay. Then it would have had to beat a 16. Yeah, it would have totally failed. Instead, it got right on the button what it needed. <laughs> How did we do on Initiative Alabama? 12. 16. 22. 16! <laughs> You're in perpetual darkness now. You cannot see anything at all. Tex, you know where the hole is because you're standing over it. <laughs> Huzzah. It's your turn, Tex. What would you like to do? So even though I have dark vision, I still can't see through this darkness? Correct. Dang. I guess I'll move as far as I can to the left away from the hole and I still can't see anything? Uh, no, of course not. No. Oh, wait, how far are you moving? 20 feet. You trip over some crates and make a loud ruckus. Everybody hears it. What does Tex say when he bangs his shin on a crate and falls over it? Ow, there's a crate there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was your turn, Tex. You're not doing anything else? Cast zone of truth again. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh, the death right. stare. You're still under the effects of zone of truth. Alabama, you cannot lie at all. Penny, what would you like to do? Have better spells. Well, that's 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 definitely something you'd like to do. What are you going to do with your action? The best I can do is like try to light something with prestidigitation. Cool. Yeah, yeah. what do you do? I have nothing because I left it all downstairs. Yep. Can I like feel on the ground for like sticks or crouch down on the ground, you feel nothing on the floor in your immediate Like vicinity. grass even? Like there's No, it's a hard stone floor. Bang the hard stone floor as though it were a drum and you say Darn it! I need something to light so we can see. And is that your prestidigitation spell? No. What oh, am I gonna? I okay. have to light it on something. I can't just like try to True. light You're things on light a fire. Set a f- <laughs> fire. Okay. Right, because it's, it's light. Okay. Moving on. So she does nothing. Penny she scrounges around in the darkness yeah. <laughs> for nothing. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Maryland. Maryland has her sword out, and she is going to find the nearest wall without falling in the hole and hmm which way do you think that is left or right right okay yeah you move you crash into a bunch of crates as well really close to where tex was previously fucking crates they'll get you (laughs) the crates that are there yeah can i fireball those to light them on fire or firebolt those i should say well yeah you can make a strike to hit with firebolt yeah do that go ahead i guess i need you miss. Hits a wall. You don't even see the firebolt that you cast at all. Okay. And what do you say when you cast firebolt? Kitch, let's light things up. Florida man, it is your turn. I'm probably going to cast protection from evil. I'll just... In falling down, you don't really know where the hole is anymore. It's always a problem, isn't Great. it? Great. <laughs> <laughs> where the hole is? That's what? so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Same with you. Uh... Hilarious. So I never knew where funny. the hole was anyway. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you're not too sure exactly where it was. Do you need guidance? I'm going to summon Cranberry. Uh. Hell yeah! <laughs> That's right. Why is so dark, bitches? <laughs> I'm here for you. How can it make it worse? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cranberry. <laughs> just going to annoy Paige so much. She's just so <laughs> done with all the high pitched voices today. Paige yes. Very <laughs> sensitive today. Yes. Frig, I'm useless in the dark. Just pull out Kevin. <laughs> I'm going to hold Kevin and stroke him. I like Kevin. I'm going to cast Daylight on my mace. Okay, cool. Kinchy and Zotzi. I'm not really sure which one of you is going to be the best to help me out right now, but I'd really appreciate at least one of your assistance. If not, I'm going to have to go within myself, and I don't know if I have the ability to do that, but we could really use some help seeing through this darkness, and I'd appreciate if you'd bestow the light of day upon my instrument of death. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And uh, that gets counterspelled. Oh. So your spell slot's gone. No daylight. What if I chose one of you? <laughs> You're so funny. This is going to be great. Don't pick the dark one at this moment. <laughs> I really like this guy's voice. Constant voice cracks? Zotzi, what if I what if I come back to you? Would you help me? <laughs> no, I think you're on the side. Guys, come on. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> that was bullshit. Well, I don't have any. You can definitely tell that whatever it was that was Evil Penny is the one that counterspelled your your action and stopped you from 
I don't even get to challenge it? No. Oh, that was my last third level spell slot. Damn. I need to get out of dodge. I'm about to cast fireball and everyone should duck. <laughs> By all means. To the top of the round. Where is Tech's turn? Tex, what are you doing? I still can't see anything. Nope. I try and feel around for one of the crates. Sure, did you I, found a crate. Did I? Bro- is it like broken open or anything? Totally, you broke it open. I'm going to start anything inside this crate that could be used. It's a backpack. There's a bunch of sticks <gasps> with sticky ends in a backpack in the crate. Do you want to tell your friend about it? Not metagaming, just saying. Yeah, total metagaming. <laughs> I'm going to feel along the floor and move 10 feet forward. Sure. Slowly. Okay. Sounds great. Crawling? Yes. All right. Did you take any of these sticks that were in the crate or did you just leave that behind? I'll take one stick. All right. You'll have to take a stick. All right. You can stick in here. Clank, clank, clank. You hear Tex. You got your bow too? It's still on my back. All right. It makes sense. How would you jump up? All right. That was Tex's turn. I'm crawling around. Penny, what would you like to do? I would like to dispel magic. Cool. Go for it. Okay, do I have to do the song or you want me to roll first? This is a, a roll. Okay, come on, baby. Should have used the blue gem. Yeah, that's usually the way it is for you. Yeah. Well, I've been doing okay today. That's when you were evil Penny. Jesus, I'm just <laughs> cursed. So it fails, unless it's real low, which I doubt because you like counteracted like your crazy spell. So I have one more thing up my sleeve, and if it fails, I'm rage quitting. We're going down the hole. I was going to yep. find the hole and like. Yep. I, 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 I hope you're looking the for the hole because that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna, We're going to jump down. I'm going I'm to aim left. Nope. I have one more thing. Okay. I, so cast your dispel magic spell. Pew. If, sorry. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen and oxygen and nitrogen and rhenium. I hate this spell. That's okay. what it's the spell. It's a dispelling magic with science. Logic. I just hate the spell. Okay. <laughs> cool. The darkness vanishes. Yes. Ah, the you power see. of science. Oh my god. I scienced it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Kyle's finally feeling how I was feeling earlier. Darkness comes immediately back. No. I'm- yes. So, no, the you've dispelled the darkness and you can see a figure. They have like bluish skin. No lips, jagged, sharp teeth, stubby horns coming out of long white hair, long wicked claws, and they look little ogre-ish, but there's this wicked light of intelligence glowing from their pupilless eyes. Damn. Marilyn, what would you like to do? As soon as I can see things, I am on my feet with my sword and I am going to go sp- Poke a bastard. No, you put your sword down, remember? I didn't put my sword down. Mm hmm. What? Yeah. Didn't have your sword in hand, remember? No, like legit not. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, At like. The pool you did, but. Yeah, but then I picked it back up when I ran this way. Right, and then you levitated up to the roof. Yeah. Where was your sword then? Still on me, because I pulled out my sword to threaten fake Penny. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. You pull out your sword, move towards the figure. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to do an attack. Okay. Make an attack. Longsword. Oh. Oh, fuck. (laughs) That's a me roll. (laughs) Ten. (laughs) You have missed. Swish. Oh, that sucked. Anything else you'd like to do? Okay. I am going to dash behind the people so that I'm on the opposite side of my party. So I'm behind them, behind the bad guys. So you run over to the bad guy and cut him. And now you're going to run away from the bad guy. And get behind your folk? No, I'm going to run up to the bad guy, cut him and miss, and then I'm going to like circle behind the bad guys. So I'm on the opposite side of my party. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So it's like party, bad guy, party. Sure. Cool. Yeah. Spreading out the basis <laughs> for attack. I don't know. That's my only idea. Okay. Flanking doesn't work in this freaking edition. <laughs> Florida man. Yes. What are you going to do? I can see him now? You bet. I'm going to vow of enmity him okay. as a bonus action, and then I'm going to... Approach him and slap him with my sharp part of my sword. Go for it. Okay. God, you're ugly, and I'm going to kill you forever <laughs> and ever. <laughs> Kinnich, thanks for giving me the light. I really, really hate you. You hate Kinnich? Yeah. No, the, dude, not, there was a comma. There was a comma. <laughs> you couldn't see it. Hard, All right. Hard Kay. stop. <laughs> There's a period. Yeah. Really hate you, dude. I'm pointing at you. Okay. So uh, I gain advantage on on attacks against. You have dark vision, right? No, I'm a human. So you just have a regular attack then. 
Okay. You would have advantage, but the only light source in the entire place is glowing 25 feet up from the well of light below. Ah, fair. Is my chest not glowing anymore? Ooh, no. I did not do well. One would say 10. Is a failure. Yeah. So I'm going to hit him again because I have a second. Okay. Hit. <gasps> oh, yes. 22. That is definitely a hit. Sweet. I'm going to smite him. Cool. How many spell slots do you have left? Two. Okay. So I'm going to do the one. I'm going to do a level two spell slot because he's not undead, right? Nope. 18 damage. All right. A glancing blow off the side of the creature. Yep. Cool. And anybody who is familiar or recalls the face of the figure or the face on the door that you were going into see that the face of this figure that you're fighting matches that face. That, that this is Jippe. Cool. Alabama. I was going to cast this before, but I'm still going to cast it anyways. I'm going to cast my channel to Divinity Radiance of the Dawn. Okay. Do I still have my holy symbol or is it all mixed up? Is it half bat, half whatever it was? Yeah, you have no holy symbol in your arm any longer. So I can't cast any of my channel divinities. No, you have to do other things than, like, there's material components that you would use for the casting of these spells. But it says I have to present my holy symbol. Yeah, I guess that's going to be hard to do. Yeah. What are you going to do about that? I'm going to create a holy symbol to myself. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I praise myself. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Fat Boy Slim song? <laughs> I won't do that. It's okay. I will cast. Okay, if I cast, <laughs> I want to. I do want to. But if I cast that, I'm going to hurt everybody. everybody. How big is the room? <laughs> I didn't ask how big the room was. I said I cast Fireball. <laughs> I will cast Scorching Ray. Cool. And I will do all three rays at the creature. Roll your three attacks. Cast your spell. Say the words. Flames within me. Fuel this fire in frustration and present yourself and attack the dark thing. Get him, says Cranberry. Ooh. Cranberry. I got a Kraken. Cool. And a 17. Two of them have hit. Three searing bolts lash out from somewhere inside or from somewhere else, a part of Alabama, as he rains fire into this creature before him. One of those rays was a natural 20, so you get to double the damage. Ooh, whoop, whoop. 15. Okay. Ah, oh, I don't like fire, he says. <gasps> well, that's good to know. <laughs> Cranberry, do you spit fire by chance? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> do you like fairy fire? Um, <laughs> what? Cranberry spits, but it's like a little globule that just goes three inches out and then just dribbles on her chin and she's like you didn't see that the creature turns a spying Maryland sneaking up from behind it and pulls the knife that Florida man tucked away no out and it grows suddenly into a wicked looking glaive he's a grower not a shower (laughs) long haft (laughs) blade of a sword at the end <laughs> and cuts deeply twice into Maryland. Whoa. I have succeeded both times because oh, I have a 14 no. and a 16 natural. I mean, I don't think your armor class is that super, is it? No, it's 15. Yeah. Okay. You take 30 points of damage. Oh, Are you, you're almost God. dead. I've got 12 points left. Oh my God, that would have like given me the brink of death. Yeah, same. <laughs> I should have kept the knife I thought you did keep the knife. He took it from me. You're supposed to hang on to Kevin. He didn't take it from you. Oh. It's just no longer on your per- in your possession. I mean, semantics. Fair. Did you mage hand it? You did something. Do you feel that? No. Yeah, no. See, I didn't mage hand it. Oh, yeah, I guess you feel mage hand. It's like a magic weapon that returns to him or something. There we go. That was the creature's turn. Round three, Tex. I can see now? Yes. Sweet. It's time. Do you have dark vision, correct? Yes, I do. Okay. It's time to let some arrows fly. Go ahead. I'm going to spin a blue gem. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, not so good. All three of those dice, not so good. Not so good at all. They all miss. 16 is the highest one. 16 hits. Oh, sweet. And 14 doesn't. No. Sweet. 10 damage. Great. And I will stay put where I am. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the thing in your hand was a torch. Oh, nice. Penny, what would you like to do? I bet you think I want to do prejudication, but I have a question for you. 
the well below us. Yes. Is it possible to like basically I'm wondering how you, if you wanted to draw up the light liquid up is there like i can't remember if there's still like a bucket in there to just draw up or no kind of a bucket sure i think there was a bucket why not okay so i would like to because now we can see where the hole is yes so i'm gonna move to just beside the hole okay cast mage hand okay have the hand draw up a bucket of light water and bring it to me it's a range on mage hand 30 30 feet, feet. So so if it gets to the top of the well, then spins it up, grab. It, the water is not at the top of the well. It's I know, so down the, in the well. So it uses the well, like the- There was no like winchy you really... thing. You literally had to lower it with a rope. And you didn't even have the rope. You had to attach a rope you brought to the bucket to bring it up. There's a rope there. You can reach it and you can lower it. Sure. Okay. That's what I'm going to do if I'm successful. Okay. What are you rolling? Nothing. I'm going to sing. What are you singing? Mage Hand song. Oh, I don't really. It's Mage Hand. Do you have a song for Mage Hand? Yeah, of course I do. (laughs) All right. Sing the Mage Hand song. I have a magic hand. (laughs) I have a magic hand. Yes. Short and simple. Yes, you do have a magic hand. (laughs) You send your magic hand down. Yeah. Begin to raise up. You need to look up whether or not you have enough strength. It's 10 pounds. Yeah. So it won't, it'll drop as much as it can. Like, I don't want a ton of it. Okay. Just some. You're drawing up light. Yeah. Sounds good. Great turn. And it brings it to me. And I have a bucket of light. Not yet, but okay. Okay. Yeah. I was hoping in one action I could get it down and up. Sure. By the end of your turn, you have a bucket of water. Small amount of liquid light. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That was your turn, Maryland. Do you have dark vision? No. Then you have disadvantage on your attack. You've spent a blue gem, so you're just going to roll regular attack. Okay. Also, help is good for the bard who keeps forgetting to do bardic inspiration. Don't help the bard. Just like keep forgetting. Someone remind me. Roll to attack. You have hit successfully, deep and true with the plant sword. Plus then my sneak attack. Exactly. So then Wait, wait, wait. You don't get to do plant damage. Oh, it's not against a plant. (laughs) He's not a plant. (laughs) So it's just my long sword. Exactly. Well, it's your plant sword. It's my plant sword. That's a sword, which is that. You're going to roll a D10 for your plant sword. It's plus five because it's magic. And you're going to roll your 3D6 for your sneak attack. Hiya. That's a bit better. Six plus 11, 19. (laughs) Well done. Are you done with your turn? I am going to use my help action to give, who was doing what? Texas, a bonus, a buff, a buff, whatever you call it. I love it. Excellent. Florida man, it's your turn. All right. I'm going to attack him. Go for it. Yeah. (laughs) Do you have dark vision? I do not. Disadvantage on the strike. I hate that I don't have light. Soon there might be more light. he's, He's still as, I still have advantage, so it cancels out. Exactly. Okay. Uh, oh, first one did not hit. Okay. I, I don't even want to mention it. That makes me happy. You swish, miss. Swish. Stab. Then, he wasn't even there. All right. And then second attack. Pshu. Also not rolling well. It was a three <laughs> and then a two. So. It's just so dark. <laughs> if only. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. I need some light, people. I realized that if you had given it to Florida Man, it wouldn't have helped because Florida Man already has advantage. So Florida Man can't get two dice. So I just need some light, people. Alabama, what would you like to do with your turn? Well, Bob, I'm going to cast Scorching Ray again. (laughs) Sounds great. I back up one moment. Is there anything you'd like to say to Cranberry? Oh, Cranberry, could you please kill this guy too? You bet! I missed! (laughs) Yeah, it's hard. Hey, it's dark. I was going to Al Gore him good, but I didn't win. I got the popular vote. Anyway. Oh, my God. (laughs) So topical. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) All right. Scorching Ray. Yes. It's my last one. You got this. No, she doesn't. (laughs) Yes, I do. No, he doesn't. I may have a feminine figure, mister. No, you don't. You're very masculine. I apologize. Thank you. Thank you. I like you. We could be friends. You don't have to fright me. So let me kill these other idiots. I like you. You're cool. Really? Totally. Nah, I kind of... You guys are growing on me. Can't lie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? That got awkward real fast. He does like having different friends of godly <laughs> stature. <laughs> when I'm not evil. I know you're not evil. <laughs> That's not what you say. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I'm not evil. Uh, it's just a state of mind. Anyway, you're scorching raying me. It's fine. Thanks, bud. I yeah. appreciate that. Don't worry. You'll miss, most likely. Go ahead. Well. Do you have dark vision? Yeah. Okay, then go for it. We got a, a 10 and a 20 and a 23. Yep. Then two of them have hit. Sorry, buddy. I've really, I mean, you seem kind of like. Oh, it's okay. I got lots of hit that, points. So, yeah, okay. No, cool. don't worry. Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> 16. Okay. It is now the bad guy's turn. Sheepe's turn. I'm just going to do some math here. 30, 38, 48, 57. He's going to attack Maryland Jane. She going to die. Well, nice knowing you guys. I have a 17. 17 yeah. to hit. That's good enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then you do 15 points of damage. I'm dead. No. I'm passed out, unconscious, making death slows. Dying. Dying. Always important. Dead is really final, isn't it? Dying is kind of an act. It's only mostly dead. It's a stage. <laughs> Would you like to describe what happens? Maryland was getting ready for another attack, but as she raised up her sword to do a, a, a slashing blow down like from his shoulder to his hip, mm -hmm. he just suddenly slung his, uh, stuck his sword behind him and caught her right in the mid of the gut, twisted it, and then pulled out. So it just like ripped her stomach. Cool, this big massive glaive. I, yeah. lo I love it. And then he's going to attack. Yeah, he's going to take an attack of opportunity from the paladin as he moves past her. Okay, I attack better. Uh, 25. That's it. <laughs> Get him. Yay. Get him. I can smite too. Okay, cool. Well, you only have the one left anyway. Get him. And then I'm out. Oh, yeah. I've rolled no, much better. I've changed my mind. Cool. How did you do? So I got uh, 23. Kyle, he's so scary. <laughs> I got 23. He grunts with the pain of that cut. Is Cranberry nearby? Into him. Cranberry tried to gore him. Why? What, just does Cranberry get an no. attack of opportunity? The creature moves past and looks initially to be aiming for Texas Walker, but actually veers off and kicks Penny down the hole. Oh, no. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Spread uh, them wings. Can uh, I get that? Do I get uh, an opportunity to attack? No, he's uh, attacking you. But like he's that's close what to he me? does. He is going to make an attack roll against you to knock you down the hole. You can make a saving throw, a strength saving throw. It's to, like, come on, dexterity. Yeah, <laughs> to avoid being knocked prone. I had a really good plan. I know you did. Ugh. All right, I have a seventeen to hit, which is plus the other stuff. So twenty. All right, I still win. No. Yes. By far and by large. I roll better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> I have bucket of dangerous light in my hands. Oh, so you take right. four points of damage. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? Fine. Just you get to bucket. make a choice. <laughs> Does the bucket slosh all over you or do you fall down the hole? Oh. I feel like you'd have a better chance and if you fell. I would like to fall down the hole. All right, roll but, 3d6. But as I'm falling down the hole, I go, ah, and the bucket goes and maybe hits my friend. No. Come no. on, no. my not friend. Not, oh, it, yeah, it definitely hits your friend. I'm loving that. That no, makes me really happy. The bad guy. All right, roll 3d6. <laughs> well, now I roll good. 12. That's how much damage you take. Yeah, <laughs> I know. As you fall 30 feet. And I'm a kind person. You do not fall into the well of light. You fall and smash into the floor right next to the well of light. <laughs> a bucket falls on top of you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like a cartoon? <laughs> it's Penny, so yes. So yeah. The bucket, you still have control of it because you still have Mage Hand. Like it's still, okay. but it's, you've fallen out of range of it. So you brought the bucket with you, I guess. I, I don't guess. know. <laughs> sure. You still have the bucket down there with you. It just came with you. <laughs> I know. And then with my, I claw up my talons and I sh look up and I shake my fist. Damn you! That's my. Uh, in your exact voice, Jipe says, no, damn you! <laughs> and then Cranberry says, did these guys steal my voice? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> they, they, no, they turn okay, into the Vanessa. They turn into the frogs. Ariel. <laughs> yeah. Per, yeah. What is Ursula's human name? Vanessa. Vanessa? Who fucking Ooh. remembers. <laughs> well done. Whoa. Okay, Vanessa. Those <laughs> shades been thrown. Disney Smackdown <laughs> happening. There's I about to be a Disney off. Out. 
We're not really Ariel. We're more like the frogs from the Kiss the Girl song. Kiss the Girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. La, or, la. Yeah, seagull. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yes, you are. That was... <laughs> I forgot to use Uncanny Dodge. Yep. A little awkward. Both times. That's okay. I haven't done Bardic Inspiration well, yet. I'm, I'm the one dying. thing I'm supposed to do every time we have combat. Wait, you're dying? <laughs> yeah, I'm minus four, uh, three right now. Do I need to heal you? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This concludes this episode of Tavern Tales, a curated Dungeons & Dragons 5e game set in the Tales of the Yawning Portal Adventure module by Wizards of the Coast. Our intro and outro music is the song Tavern Tales by the Bad Billy Band. You can find out more about the Bad Billy Band on iTunes or at www.badbillyband.com or follow them on Twitter at Bad Billy Band. Thanks for listening. Please feel free to leave us a review on iTunes or find us on Twitter at Tavern underscore Tales. We'll be back next week with more of the adventure.